Hey y'all, it's Robert, and uh, I finally finished up my Idic Beers uh, New Year's Challenge, and uh, these are my ship's officers. Now, uh, I think I started painting these guys in early March, and uh, then I just, you know, I got distracted, and, you know, it's tax season, so, uh, you know, I really just started um, getting back to painting these guys last week. And, um, you know, they didn't take too long to finish. Um, that 48-hour challenge I did the other day where I painted those four Indians, that kind of got my uh, painting enthusiasm back. But uh, let's go over these guys. Um, I've got uh, two guys here. This is in the uh, Brigade Games um, Command Pack. And um, I don't know if they're supposed to be admirals or um, post captains, but uh, I don't know. There's two of them. I'm probably at most going to use one because I, I wouldn't think a uh, an admiral or a, a post captain would be on some sort of a you know onshore attack. But uh, you know I like them. I think they came out really good. This guy's my favorite. I gave him um, blonde hair, like uh, Captain Aubrey, so I can call him old Goldilocks, as they do in the books. Uh, let's see, this next guy, he was in their um, landing party command. This is a, a lieutenant. I'm not a big fan of this pose. I don't know why he's leaning forward so much. Um, it kind of looks like he's wearing a, um, a belt on his chest there, but, I don't know, it's really flush with his jacket, and it's, the belt itself has some folds, like, like his coat, so I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a belt or not, but, um, you know, I, so I just chose to ignore it, and, um, painted it up as his jacket. This guy here is in the same pack as the lieutenant, and, um, you know, he's, he doesn't have that long-tailed coat, so I don't, he's not an officer, but, um, so I'm thinking maybe he's like a, a, the ship's master or some senior crew member, but, uh, so I gave him a, a little bit of gray hair there to show he's a old and trusted crewman. Okay, um, these two guys are, are midshipmen. Um, if you look, they're, um, they're a little bit skinnier and, um, and shorter than the rest of the crew. And that's because, uh, midshipmen were often teenagers. And this one here, he's, um, He's got a dagger here. The midshipmen had daggers, not swords, until, I don't know, maybe they were older, they were given swords. Um, I don't know if these, this uh, sword belt, is it's really supposed to be leather, but I don't know, I thought the, uh, the leather brown made a, a good uh, color accent. And you notice they have these black neckerchiefs there. Um, I'm not sure if all the officers had black. I gave the lieutenant white and the captain white, but I know the, the midshipmen had black uh, neckties there. And this is now officially midshipman beer. So uh, there you go, Nick. If I ever, whenever I play a game with this guy, I'll try to keep him alive. Now these um these last two guys are are something I added to the challenge. This is um, from Brigade Games uh, French Scientist Pack. They have a line of um, Napoleon in Egypt, and um, anyhow that's what they're from. But I I gave this guy a 
a blue coat, so I don't know what he could be. Maybe a, maybe another lieutenant or a ship's doctor or something. Then this last guy, um, this couple days ago, um, the uh, WSS channel had a uh, painting a American uh, militiaman. And uh, anyway, I tried to to use the same colors from that Militiaman video. It was sort of a brown, reddish-brown jacket. But uh, this guy is another French scientist. And I figure he could be something like maybe he's a um, actually a, a British agent or a, a French royalist. And, you know, the, the landing party has to rescue him. But uh, I like how he turned out. He looks pretty sharp. Alright. Um, that'll do it for my New Year's challenge. Um, I don't know. Who else finished theirs? Uh, I know Itik Beer. He's, Nick, you're still doing yours. Um, is everybody else done? But um, if you haven't finished yet, I hope your project's going well. And um, have a good weekend.